Hello, today I want to talk to you about a popular topic that I hear uh, quite often now. Um, more often now with kind of the younger generation that I typically work with uh, compared to the more traditional uh, pre-retiree clients that I've helped in the past where uh, it's very, very top of mind, the ability to retire early or as I prefer to call it, uh, financial independence. And so there's, there's a reason why I distinguish between those two things. Retiring early is actually an action that you take where you're, you're making the decision or in some uh, situations it may be kind of forced on you to have to take an early retirement. So that's, that's like an actual event that is going to occur and it's pretty definite. Uh, what I like about financial independence is there's more possibilities kind of associated with it as well as um, it's there's just more flexibility to it. There's more meaning and gravitas as far as like you are to a point where you have more control over what the situation is going to look like. And that's what financial independence is. You reach a point where your assets and your wealth that you've accumulated gets to a point where you don't have to rely on income anymore. So that's that's a pretty powerful thing. That's not saying that you are going to decide to quit that very day. Um, that's kind of the opposite of what financial independence is, but it's nice and it's empowering for people that achieve that to know that they could do that or they could transition to a role that they'd enjoy more, or maybe they walk away from any type of income and they fill that time with uh, volunteer or spending time with children, grandchildren, whatever it happens to be. But that's really where financial independence becomes, I feel, a lot more powerful than uh, retiring early. Uh, with that said, I, I want to warn you, uh, if you're not already aware, it's super hard to to be able to do earlier. Um, so typical retirement age is somewhere between like 62, 67. Um, and in order to shave years off of that, you have to save a significant amount. You have to reduce your spending uh, so that you are able to save that amount. Um, there's there's lots, lots of challenges that come along with it. Um, and often ones that people don't think about like uh, inflation. So the cost of stuff going up uh, every single year um, market volatility like we've been seeing recently, especially towards the, the second half of 2018. Um, taxes are still going to impact uh, most of your income, um, depending on how you structured uh, your plan to uh, handle that. Uh, there's going to be the potential for medical costs going up. And th those are just kind of the tip of the iceberg, all, all the things that people forget when they're trying to build their own plan and they and in their plan, it's all straight line and it's like, oh, everything's gonna go according to this and and according to these numbers and projections, everything is gonna be great. Well, life doesn't happen on those projection timelines. They don't shoot just straight like that. Um, uh, market changes, different life events happen and things like that. So um, with that said, I did already put out a blog post, a strategy guide on how to retire early. So you feel free to check that out. I'm also gonna come out with a webinar, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, that will uh, be um, a little bit more in depth than the blog post even, but I'll record that so you can kind of play it on demand when it's uh, convenient for you. Uh, Want to make that available. And then, yeah, just reach out if you ever have questions because I think uh, the biggest issue by far is people don't understand what it's actually gonna take in order to achieve your goals. Even even just retiring at that normal time frame, 62 to 67 time frame. A lot of people aren't doing what they need to be doing, and so um, let's let's get on course right now. Let's start that uh, end of 2018, going into 2019 to truly understand what it takes to uh, reach your goals, and then identify what what really matters in your life to uh, help make you make that progress. So reach out if you feel that you need more one-on-one -on -one assistance. Otherwise, be on the lookout for uh, the different strategy guides that I release over. Uh, my time and and I'll do that through social media but um, also if you don't catch these all the time feel free to sign up for my uh, my newsletter and blog post strategy guide and that way it guarantees that you get it uh, into your uh, inbox every single time that I, I push those out so uh, have a great end to 2018 and take care